Welcome to Pillar Garage. On this episode, we're going to show you how to fix the most common problem with your 4L60E. Right, now that we're showing you how to fix your 4L60E, now we're going to show you how to do a 6 speed manual conversion that I've acquired out of a HSV Malou. These are for the manual. These are for my bonnet. Label your bolts, people, or else you're gonna have a bad time. So, it's currently the middle of summer, and it's about 2,000 degrees. Uh, so we've got these water misters, which are keeping us cool. So I apologize if you can hear that in the shot the whole time. But they're not going off. They're not going off. Wait, you know, if you could just grab hold of the whole intake, and it just come off. Wow, that'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? It would. Push is never that easy. One of my favourite things about Holden is the quick release intake manifolds. Yep. They never actually bolted down. But you don't worry about that stuff. So what are you removing now? I'm removing some of the harness here. So that when we go take this apart, you don't snag on it and rip it clean out because somebody else is going to be using this wiring loop. Do you reckon that might be the cylinder that the um, ballastone seals are gone? What's that? Oh, the fact that there's oil in all the galleys. Yeah. Galleys? Not galleys. Ports. Yeah. This is the galley, though. That plate there. You reckon that plate might be leaking? Plate will be leaking, yeah. Because there's oil. The fact that there's oil around every single port would suggest to me that the valve stem seals are probably... Sure. Well, no, that wouldn't make any sense, because... It had to be every single one of them. Do you, do you just hate it when tape does that? I... No need, because I'm not going to lose the manual. God, sweet Jesus, why? I think all tapes just shit. Jesus, take the wheel. I reckon. I'm done. So, so far we've got intake manifold off, we're taking the belt off, I've still got to finish getting two bolts for the compressor underneath, um, we're starting to take the whole engine loom off the engine, uh, and spark plugs, exhaust, at this point, oh, and the starting motor wires, we've got to take the alternator one still off, um, other than that, we haven't got power to anything, which is good. Then I suppose I'd better go underneath, take the tail shaft off take the gear selector off and undo the multi-pin plug that goes into the transmission which are glued in from factory oh yeah so heat them up before you pull them out i don't have to because i've already had mine out so mine already been heated up for heat gun and the glue's already been so it sh should come off but if you first time you ever done this and the first time plugs ever come out use a heat gun don't scorch it but heat up just enough that the glue inside the plug um, loosens up and then then you can unplug it but don't just refund you'll smash the plug ask me how i know how do you know 
quote the first one. Um, for those that are doing the manual conversion and they're not just watching it for, obviously, this would be the same if you're just doing an engine swap. If you're doing the conversion and you don't have the manual loom, please study it properly. Pin it out so the actual lockout solenoid on the gearbox works through the ECU because if you don't, instead of going to six gear, you could easily go into reverse. And hitting reverse at 100 kilometers an hour is not a good time. Right, right guys, next step, we're gonna pop this plastic trim off. There's torque bits just underneath. I'll tell you exactly what torque bits are in just a sec. Now, you're probably wondering, what's this got to do with manual conversion? The reason we're taking this off, and popping this out of the way, is because to take this off, there's a plug, I think part of the harness, that goes behind here. The uh, reason we're taking the harness out is because, well, if you put the manual in there, the wires aren't gonna be the same for auto. So you're either swapping it or you're going to de-pin it and look, if you're going to de-pin it, you might as well de-pin it off the car. Uh, T25. See that? Focus. Beautiful. Probably didn't, but take my word for it, it's T25. You know what T stands for in uh, T25, Jaden? Uh, stands for torques, mate. Oh. Yeah. Don't pop. Do, do not listen to me. You're not listening. Do not pop this all the way off, okay? Don't, don't do that. Why not? You don't need to. All you need to do is get to that screw. It's just there. There. Yeah. All right, so I definitely didn't just miss that. So take that screw out, it's right there before you break it. Luckily I seen it, you know, ages ago. I knew it was there. I'm a professional. Yeah. Oh, 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 that's, what's that wire for? Oh, okay. So it just fell out. Um, and that, if you have guessed and put your comment down below, is exactly what you think it is. You do need, you do not need that. It's okay. Just put it, put it on your back seat. Why do you still have that in the car? What in the car? That. This is. Why do you have a pry bar that's no, like a meter this long? Is, this is a plastic removal tool. It is. It's a, it's a plastic removal tool. It, it is. Okay. Trust me, I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. Um, I want to believe that, but I've never broken anything in my life. I just watched you break three clips. No. What's that do? Oh, I see. No, no, you won't fit. Harley. What? That's what they all say. Like, no, 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 no. No, it will really fit. Won't. Trust me, you just gotta, you just gotta ease Jayden, into it a little Jayden, bit. Look at the size of the plug, it won't fit. Please don't. Yeah. yeah. Come on, start. Yeah, see, where's my plastic removal tool? Oh, it's, yeah. it's on the other one. They removed it probably. Okay. You mean they removed it with the plastic removal tool? Yeah. Does that work? That should be. Ah, oh, no, it's in half. This is the part that changes from. Boys to men.
That is well, well deserved. The engine and gearbox are out. Um, Harley and I were just talking about some things that we learnt. The engine plate that goes on top of the engine, that's $50. One of the best purchases you'll ever buy. Um, Somebody actually forgot to bring theirs down. Some idiot that has one sitting in their Dodge forgot to bring it. Um, engine levelers, worth the investment. They may seem crap when you're using them, but I can tell you right now, it just doesn't cut it. Yeah. That gearbox, I nearly did a pooper valve. I was lifting that. Yeah. Sphincter bushes, they're not, they're not easy to replace sphincter yeah. bushes either. You don't want to pop one. And you know what? How much was that level up? Um, 100 bucks. So well, $150 for a plate and a level It cost up. me $86 every time I go see my osteo. Mm. And I'm going to have to go see him for that one. Mm. The thing is, you get to keep the tilt afterwards. Yeah. I get to keep a bad back. Yeah. I don't know what I'd choose. Well worth the investment. Cheers, guys. Do I, now, do I just soak it in degrees or just... I think we just apply to it. Yeah.